Hi everyone, uh, today's video is not about a um, stuffed toy which I made, but uh, about a doll which I made. Um, she's not for sale. Uh, I made her a couple of weeks ago at the um, uh, master classes of a very amazing toy artist Paulina. Uh, I'll put a link to your to her uh, YouTube channel in the description uh, and I'm very, very happy how she turned out so I really wanted to uh, <laughs> show her to you uh, so this is brownie um, this is already the second masterclass which I visited the first one was a couple of years ago and honestly speaking I haven't done anything in doll making <laughs> during this period of time, uh, but uh, I decided to visit the masterclass once again because it was uh, really fun and interesting um, and uh, magical and full of uh, wonders <laughs> um, time. Uh, so uh, let me show you a little bit closer um, the doll the doll herself so she is half not half maybe one third or one fourth a uh, ball jointed doll so uh, she has the the moving parts here and uh, she can uh, fold her arms um, she has a hand painted face i'm very very bad at painting so <laughs> i'm very sorry for the uh, not straight lines but anyway she is much better than the first one which I did a couple of years ago mm. so I'll put some sparkles to her eyes and ears so I made her a little teddy bear just just because so it's him uh, Try to make her a cute, cute dress with laces and nice um, prints. So she can move her uh, legs, but she's not able to to fold them. And here are tiny shoes which we made as well by hands. So very cute, not removable, unfortunately. So um, underneath the dress she has a very cute jumpsuit, I'll show it to you. So it looks like this. This is the back side. It's not removable, uh, so it's like her eternal underwear. Uh, it's on the sleeves. I struggled a little bit with the uh, with the hair because uh, the first uh, option which I made was. Um, not enough, so I had to buy another uh, bunch of hair and add some layers and then the hair was quite straight, so uh, I thought that the, the waves will suit her a little bit better. So uh, here you can see I lost some uh, part of the eye lines, unfortunately somehow while I was bringing her home already after the masterclass, which is uh, very sad, but I don't have any um, materials here at home, so I'm not able to recover her. Uh, two years ago, when I visited the masterclass for the first time, I really thought that maybe I will be making dolls as well, not only the toys, uh, but because I did absolutely nothing during this year, during these two years. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure about this idea anymore, but there are still some hope uh, in my head, so maybe 
I'll need a couple more years to decide about it, to practice a little bit more, or I don't know, something else should happen. And maybe you will see some dolls which I will, <laughs> I will make and sell in the future. Fingers crossed, this would be lovely. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoy my uh, my brownie. I I really love you very much. And see you next time in my next video. Bye.